Hi, my name is Erika Klåt and I'm a physiotherapist in Sweden. Our paper in the April 2018 issue of Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology is a study about factors associated with knee contracture in children with cerebral palsy. What's already known about this topic is that knee contracture frequently occur in children with CP. It's a problem that affects both ambulant and non-ambulant children. Knee contracture can cause asymmetric postures, impaired gait patterns, affect the ability to transfer and cause pain. In our study, we found that almost one of four children with CP had a knee contracture. It's more common in older children and in those with a lower level of motor function. We found that knee contracture is associated with shorter hamstring muscle, higher geometrious level and older age. Shorter hamstring muscle confer a greater risk for knee contracture than increased spasticity in the knee flexors. Children with a hamstring's length of less than 120 degree have an almost tenfold increased risk of knee contracture. Therefore, it's important to maintain the length of hamstrings to reduce the risk of developing knee contracture for those children. Thank you.